Hey everybody, it's Dave Dugdale, learningvideo.com. So I'm gonna have a question for you guys on the performance of DaVinci Resolve 12. Because so far it's been working pretty well, but I wanna maybe take a look at a few things here. I'm gonna play a few clips, they're somewhat random, but we're gonna look at the GPU performance. We're gonna look at my, the performance of my CPU. And we're gonna also like take a look at the performance of all the different hard drives that I've got. So the first thing I wanna do is we're gonna start off in the color tab. And we're gonna to go to the edit tab next, but I wanna see what the performance like is in the color tab. You can see this one has got a blue line above it, so it's actually cached already, coming off the S drive, and it's playing back just fine. This one does not have a blue line above it, so it's not cached, I believe. It's in 1080, uh, shot in the A7S. All these are shot with the A7S. Um, GP load is around 40%, um, and it's coming off the M drive right now. So this one is a clip that's done in 4K, ProRes 422 off the Shogun. And now you can see it's just dropping frames left and right. You can see that frame indicator. It's only at 13 frames per second. And you can see the GPU is just maxed out at 99%. It's just the GPU can't do anymore. So you're going to see tons of drop frames going on here. It's only doing about half the frames it should be doing. So if we look at the um, S drive, that's where it's coming off of that particular clip because um, it's coming off the cache drive um, it looks pretty good and then over here the GPU you can see it's not even going at 4.3 which is where I've got this overclocked at so S drive seems to be working it's on this new clip that we're playing right here um, again this one is only 1080 but it's 60 frames per second and the GPU is just loaded and all these clips were shot well most of them were shot in S-Log and they have quite a few nodes on them so they're they're getting some work done going through all the different nodes um, for the CPU and the, the GPU and the hard drives. So now we're gonna play it again. Here we go, I'm just gonna start it off here. Here's the same clips, but now I'm gonna do it in the editing tab and see if the performance difference is any different than it was before. Because I know in Premiere, between the color tab and the editing tab, there has been differences before. Um, uh, I think they've fixed a few issues, so maybe there's not much difference now in Premiere Pro. But I wanted to see what it was like and what you're going to notice here is when we get to the shot in the pool there's going to be a large difference um, in this particular mode. I thought that the editing tab would actually do smoother performance but it doesn't seem to for some reason and here it comes you're going to see it drop frames just left and right and you can see the S drive you see all those spikes coming off S drive. Um, I'm not maxing out it's an SSD um, and I've done speed tests it can do like 500 uh, on it, so it's barely using uh, the S drive. Um, but it's what's happening, it seems to be, is the GPU is just getting maxed out. And that is my weakest link in my chain. So here I've got Windows 10 on my C drive, it's an SSD. Uh, we got my media drive, one terabyte SSD. I got an export drive, and I got a scratch drive, which is also an SSD. So I've got pretty good performance. I got a 5960X 8 core overclocked at 4.3 gigahertz, DDR4 64 gig of RAM, and I have one GTX 680 for both the GUI and grading. So I'm only doing it all in one monitor on my LG 34 inch monitor. So my question is, should I buy a GTX 980 Ti, which is like a great card for color grading monitor, and then use my old GTX 680 for just the GUI monitor, because I'm guessing that uh, more power needs to go to the grading monitor, and that would be the 980 Ti. So here it's a few things that I've got set up. You can see that I've got the scratch drive set up on top, which means it's going to be caching first. That's my caching drive. At least I've been reading the manual. The manual's like a thousand pages long, and I'm reading the performance guide as well. And I think, you know, I've tried a lot of different things here in terms of the way um, Resolve is set up, especially on the image scaling. I've tried sharper, smoother, bilinear, all that different stuff. Um, I've tried lots of different settings, but the GPU just seems to be getting hammered. So if you guys have any uh, answers for me, um, performance, maybe some of those guys out there that maybe work for Blackmagic, um, really appreciate it because I'd really love to do more with this program.